Hey guys, Tony here at the Dirt Fish Shop. So previously uh, we rebuilt some, uh, some rally dampers. Uh, there were a few questions online about what's the difference between a OE stock uh, damper and some of the motorsport shocks we have here. Um, so I'm gonna talk through a few of those today. As you can see here, uh, this is from a BRZ. Uh, this is a stock damper and then a, a Ryger uh, Clubman uh, damper. You can see this one's quite a lot larger. Um, so if I go ahead and measure, measure shock shafts and things like that, this one's about 20, 21 mil, 22 mil, and this one's about 50. So the reason that is, is this shock is actually inverted in the motorsport damper. So this is basically taken and put upside down. So the skinny end of the shock is actually inside this tube. So what that is gonna, uh, advantage is gonna give us is when we're sliding sideways and we hit you know, potholes and big berms and, and uh, big nasty rocks that are in the way, um, that's gonna give us a lot of strength and stability and it's not gonna bend the shock shaft. Um, and that will get us through the rally. Um, typically a rally is about 150 miles and you're hitting numerous things. So it has to be able to withstand the abuse. The next big thing about strength is the damper ears. Um, if you look at the, the stock damper compared to the motorsport damper here, the ears are also about double the width. And that's also another key strength feature. Um, when it's taking a big impact from a jump landing or something like that, the ears aren't gonna twist and then your suspension's not gonna be all out of a line and the car is not gonna be handling all crazy. Uh, so next up, um, there's a couple of adjustments we can make on this damper, which is really nice. Um, we have ride height. So we can adjust these collars up and down to adjust the height of the car, depending on how we want the car to handle. And the other big difference from the standard shock is the way the camber is adjusted. So on a rally shock, we have all these different size shims here that slide into the, the damper. And this changes the top bolt location on the shock and that will adjust the knuckle in or out and give us camber adjustment. The stock shock can do that. It has a, it has a cam lobe bolt that you can rotate and adjust camber as needed. Um, but those cam lobes, they tend to, to spin over bumps and rally and they can get knocked out of adjustment. And then you're constantly chasing your tail and, and um, this is a nice fixed constant uh, key feature on the motorsport shock that's gonna keep the car sturdy, sturdy and strong. So next up, when we're moving to a higher grade motorsport shock, um, there's a couple other things we gain. We gain adjustability um, of the dampening of the shock. So here, um, I have an adjuster, so I can change high and low speed compression and rebound, depending on the terrain of, the, of, of what, what rally we're going to. High speed compression is gonna be for quick, quick fast bumps and low speed is gonna be slow compressions. And then rebound is also how, how hard and how fast um, the shock's gonna, gonna uh, return. Same thing, I also get a spring adjuster here. Next key feature on the, on the higher end motorsport damper is the top hat. So the top hat's gonna give me a little bit of camber and caster adjustability, whereas the stock top hat is just a fixed fixed unit, it bolts in one place, so I can slide this in and out, adjust caster, adjust camber, um, turn it around, bolt it different ways I need to. It's also solid aluminum with a spherical motorsport bearing, so that's gonna be a lot more stiff and, um, and sound out on the stage roads, hitting the bumps, it's not gonna go anywhere. Whereas the stock top hats are usually a compound of rubber and metal, so as the shock is going through compressions and hitting bumps, that rubber is, is flexing on the top hat and, and can wear out over time or blow out and things like that. So overall, um, the difference between a stock shock and a motorsport shock is the key things are strength and adjustability. This, this shock is kind of weak and it is what it is. We can't rebuild it. Um, we can't adjust anything on it. It's just uh, kind of the way it is. So when we move to these, we can fine tune the shock depending on what rally we're going to. And uh, ultimately it helps us get to the end of the rally and maybe even win the rally. Um, and that's kind of it. So if you have any questions, uh, like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll answer anything we can. Thanks.